Now to an exclusive interview with the impressive young man who helped start the world's largest gun reform advocacy group called March for Our Lives. David Hogg, the founder, created the group after he survived a deadly mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. He hopes we can learn from past tragedies all in order to prevent future ones. He says it should have already happened. Our news producer, Colton Salas, sat down with Hogg in this one-on-one -on -one conversation. Take a look. Following the recent string of mass shootings from Buffalo to Uvalde, Texas, Another March for Our Lives protest is coming to Washington, D.C. Founder and organizer of the massive event, as well as survivor of the high school shooting in Parkland, Florida, David Hogg, said in an exclusive interview with WDVM that something needs to be done. Well, I, I think the fact is we're still fed up. We hope that we wouldn't have to be back here. Um, but I, I think this is a time um, to draw a couple of things. One, solidarity, you know, for survivors, for them to know that they're not alone, because this is also traumatizing for people who've gone through this before. Um, and I think these marches can provide a really good way of showing them, you know, that they, they aren't alone, that there are other people, there are allies that support them. Hogg announced on his Twitter page just days after the deadly massacre in Texas that another march was being planned for this June 11th. Their goal is to call on Congress to do something to prevent further violence at schools. I think knowing that our generation has been failed by politicians, it doesn't matter the party um, because both both parties have been in power and we're I'm here talking to you right now. Um, I think what made the difference is the fact that our generation had grown up. You know, I was born a year after Columbine and the first time when the shooting happened in my high school was really when we finally had the this, the words to describe what what had happened to our what it has had happened and has happened. He is also calling on lawmakers to set aside their political agenda in order to save lives. And I think that's the whole message here is, look, our country is very divided. We all know that. Let's stop focusing on what we can't agree on and let's start focusing on what we can because our kids are dying. You know, the, these young people that I've met are not Democrats or Republicans, they're t-ball players, they're honorable students. You know, they are soccer players, they're, they're kids that like reading, they're Harry Potter fans. You know, they are coders. They, they're not, they're kids. And if we can't put our politics aside and help protect them, I, I don't know why, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know why we're here. Why, you know, uh, they are our future. Despite the collective anger which has swept the nation in the wake of yet another mass shooting, some say the political realities are just too hard to overcome in order to pass meaningful gun reforms. Many Americans right now are like, well, even if they support gun reform legislation, they're like, it's never gonna happen. So why bother? Well, yeah, well, I think the reality is, uh, my metaphor for this is like smoking and how we address that. You know, there's still people, you can still get cigarettes, right? But uh, we addressed how people get cigarettes, address the industry, and we addressed why people want to smoke. And we have to do that with guns. It can't just be how somebody gets a gun, it needs to address why do uh, people want to pick up a gun in the first place. Since the shooting in Evalde, GOP lawmakers have called for the arming of teachers, as well as having armed guards on campus. When asked about these alternative safety measures, Hogg didn't hold back. Look, the situation was the same in Parkland, or very similar as it was in right. Texas. There were cops that failed, there were cops, there were good guys there that had guns, and they only proved to be cowards with guns. And just so you know, the protest is scheduled for Saturday, June 11th on the National Mall. So far, they have a permit for 10 to 15,000 people. Now, to catch the rest of the interview with David Hogg and our producer, Colton Salas, just log on to our website at localdvm.com.